greetings from the car. <laughs> All right, so the video that I was working on and was planning, um, the video files were empty when I was importing them. So yeah, due to technical difficulties, you will not be seeing that video. Oh well. So instead, you are going to come to knit class with me. I teach knitting at a local maker shop. Um, it's not just a yarn store. There's also a pottery studio in there and you can come in and paint ceramics anytime. Um, and there's also a fiber, well, of course there's a fiber department, there's yarn. No, but um, fiber for spinning wheels. We also sell that too and have spinning wheels and looms for sale and all that great stuff. Anyway, I haven't had a I haven't taught a knit class since April. Um, yeah, so it's now December, so I have December classes live and January. Yeah, so you can still purchase the January classes if you're local. Anyway, so I have a step one and a step two. Step one is you've never touched needles before and have no idea what you're doing, or it's been a long time and you need a refresher, or just you want to learn how and you've crocheted your whole life, but knitting seems fun. Um, yeah, you don't really need a reason. It's just step one is learning the basics. Um, so you learn how to do long tail cast on, the knit stitch, binding off, and seaming. You do that all in the first project. We do two projects in step one. So that's the first project. Second project is a hat. So again, we do a refresher on the long tail cast on. You learn to do ribbing. I believe it's the pattern is a two by two. So two knits, two pearls, two knits, two pearls all the way around. Um, you learn how to join in the round, um, read your pattern, read your knitting, um, decreasing, transitioning to double pointed needles, and closing up the top of your hat. Seems like a lot um, when you list it all out and what you learn <laughs> in class. But you, at the end of the month, you go home with two projects. There's four classes a month, and they are two hour classes. Um, yeah, so step two is we kick it up a notch a little bit. Um, and it is cabled mittens. Now the pattern has different options. There's plain mitten, there's a simple cable running up the back, which is the one that we're doing, or there's a heart motif, or there's a horseshoe looking cable. Um, so we're doing the simple cable up the back. So you learn for this one, it is magic loop and putting stitches on hold for later for doing the thumb. You learn how to cable and do the Kitchener stitch. And this is the only project that we make in step two are the mittens. Um, and then if the student or students, there's more than one, if they want to, they can do the, the full mitten or we can stop it right here and make fingerless mittens. Yeah, we don't have a step three yet. Um, that might be, that'll be later. We'll see. Um, yeah, so that's, that's knit class. So let's go get ready for class. <laughs>